What's up guys, it's your boy Seven. Hope you guys had an amazing weekend to start off your week. I know it's Tuesday, but still, uh, weekends are pretty great. So I wanted to talk about this article that I uh, read earlier today in, uh, in, in Tom's Guide. It, it was titled, uh, It's Time for Assassin's Creed to End. And uh, I, I gotta say, man, I, I've been kind of waiting for somebody to make an article like this. Uh, I, I knew I, I couldn't be the only one who thought this. So I have to say that I agree. Uh, I mean, I don't upload Assassin's Creed to this channel, uh, but I used to play it a lot. Uh, to be fair, I've got a lot of the older games, uh, like the Ezio Trilogy and uh, Assassin's Creed 3, 4, uh, but I do have Odyssey. Not a big fan of the newer games because I don't really feel any substance with them, uh, and this is what the article also kind of mentioned. The games have overall gotten much bigger, but there isn't much narrative to them. And that's why I stopped playing Assassin's Creed in the first place, uh, ever since they killed off Desmond in uh, Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, I haven't really cared for the franchise like I I used to. Assassin's Creed is one of those games where the story as well as the gameplay kept people really engaged. Nobody just played Assassin's Creed just because of the hidden blade even though that was pretty dope. I mean that was dope as hell man that that hidden blade was amazing but people really love the story of Desmond and wanted to know how it was gonna end. Now that it's ended me personally I've lost a lot of interest. It's amazing that Assassin's Creed 3 came out in 2012. Uh, I know that game gets a lot of crap but my god it, that was such an epic game. I love the setting. I love the narrative. Yeah the game was buggy as hell and it had really long load screens and Connor wasn't the most charismatic dude ever, but still, I loved the hell of that game. It was amazing bring, being in the frontier, Boston, New York, uh, you know, the forest. It, it was all amazing to me, and I just loved it. I loved the setting. Uh, I loved Connor. Personally, I did. But yeah, there's two Assassin's Creed games that, you know, I love with my life, and that's Assassin's Creed 2 and Assassin's Creed 3. Anyway, uh, Assassin's Creed has been making games pretty much yearly since Assassin's Creed 2. I know they took, uh, you know, a couple years of break uh, a few years back when they we're getting really bad sales numbers and everything, but uh, I really do think it's time for the Assassin's Creed genre to just come to an end. It's kind of like if they, you know, kept making Witcher games yearly. Uh, nobody would want to play that, you know, every single year with no end in sight if they kept just, you know, kept changing up the story and the main character. I mean, it just sucks in my opinion. And that's another thing, you know, uh, part of the reason why uh, I think Assassin's Creed isn't as interesting as it used to be is uh, every single game, there's a new character uh, there's a new timeline and there's just a totally new setting I mean in my opinion I think that really sucks to be honest because every single game you got to get used to you know a new setting a new character you got to find out if you like that character uh, you know and it's just you got to get used to a whole new setting and everything so you know in my opinion I really do think that sucks and that was one of the benefits of the Ezio trilogy uh, you know part of the reasons why I loved Ezio so much was we played through his journey you know what I mean like we we saw him grow up over a period of three different games uh, in largely the same setting, you know what I mean? So, and Ezio is a super charismatic dude, so, you know, it's not like he was unlikable the entire time. No, you were very interested in his character, you were very interested in his life, and, you know, it was a pretty, I mean, that was one of the most attractive things about, you know, Ezio's games, and that's why I love the hell out of those games, uh, even though Revelations kind of fell off, you know, but, uh, you know, I do love those games overall, and I, you know, I wonder why they got away from that, I mean, I don't know, did they, uh, you know, did they feel that uh, they were just you know, they would be dragging it on for too much if they, you know, made multiple games about one character. I mean, I don't know. I mean, if you, I think if you pulled an Ezio and you just, you know, started them off while they were young and uh, brought them into the, you know, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and uh, at a young age and just kind of grew them up throughout a, the course of, you know, two games or so. It doesn't have to be three, but, you know, I, I think people would appreciate that much more, in my opinion. But yeah, I think Assassin's Creed really just needs to come to a close. Uh, you know, don't go back to the basics, you know, just in the franchise, you know what I mean? And come up with something new and interesting. Uh, it's rare to find a game nowadays that has been milked to hell with, you know, no interesting characters as a payoff. I mean, honestly, Ubisoft just, you know, can it, man. Just, it's over. Uh, you know, Assassin's Creed had a good run. Uh, it's not even the same anymore. It really isn't. I mean, you look at Assassin's Creed Odyssey. You look at Assassin's Creed, uh, uh, 
uh, you know, the newest one, Valhalla or whatever, uh, you know, they're not even Assassin's Creed games. They're not even recognizable as Assassin's Creed games. And so, you know, just, I mean, that's a sign that the game is getting away from its roots in all honesty, you know what I mean? I mean, one of the most amazing things, in my opinion, about the Assassin's Creed uh, games was, I mean, it, I know it's aesthetics and, you know, it's, it doesn't really mean that much, but I love the hoods. Uh, I love the outfits that they would have, the unique outfits, uh, you know, and I think that they kind of fell off over time, you know what I mean? I, I think they started looking uh, kind of bland and boring. I mean, Assassin's Creed 2 and uh, Brotherhood, I mean, Ezio looked like a badass. And, you know, so at Re Revelations as well, I mean, looked like a total badass. And uh, Assassin's Creed 3, in my opinion, I mean, the dude looked, Connor looked sick as hell, man. I mean, honestly. And Altair looked badass as well. So I, I just feel like, and uh, even, even you know, uh, Edward in, you know, Black Flag, I, I think he looked pretty dope as well. But, you know, my point is that, you know, Assassin's Creed, you know, the characters have always looked a certain way. They, they've always had the hood. They've always had uh, the hidden blade, even though they really haven't got rid of the hidden blade. But still, um, you know, it's I just just don't even go back to basics. Just end the franchise. Come up with something new, guys. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you know, I mean, that's pretty much the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Apex Legends gameplay. Uh, I've been, I'm enjoying the new season and the new map. Uh, haven't really played the new character yet, but I'm sure she's pretty cool, too. Uh, so, yeah, this is Seven signing out, guys. Enjoy the rest of your week.